Hey y'all, it's Dawn from Dawn Gills Designs and welcome back to my channel. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made this super cute Argyle tumbler and a helpful hint, this is one of my new things I said I was coming out with this year, so stay tuned during this video to hear that announcement. So as always, everything I use will be listed in the description below. I also have the links to my website, my links to my social media in case you want to follow me there along with my Facebook group. So let's go ahead and get started. So I got this really pretty vinyl from the um, PDB Creative Studio. So I wanted to mix some colors, which I'll have listed down in the description below for you guys, along with a discount code for you guys if you want to check them out. And so I'm using Heart Happy, Bella, Legend, and Moon River and just mixing them all together to kind of, I want to pull the blues out of this vinyl. And I'm gonna use this as my glitter for the base. So here's the glitter all mixed up for you just to you know show you. And I'm using one of my cauldron color paints. I'll put that color down in the description below for you guys if you wanna check that out. And I'm just going to cover my entire tumbler, including that bottom area. And I really like this paint because there's no streaking or anything like that. And I can do all in one coat of glitter. I don't want to ever use two coats of glitter or anything like that. So I'm giving it a good coat on there. And then I'm just applying the same color mix all throughout the tumbler. So it's really just one color going on the whole thing. So I'm just going to make sure I get that good and coated. I do go over it a couple times just to make sure that I didn't miss any spots or anything like that. And then I'll cover the bottom and then I'm also gonna place the toner down in that glitter to make sure I got it good. And then tap it off with my scissors just to get any excess glitter off. So once that was dry, I went ahead and gave it a couple coats of epoxy and then I sanded it down and sprayed it down with some rubbing alcohol. And I'm just checking, making sure it um, how that color looks, you know, up against the vinyl. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my transfer tape, which is Tech Wrap Craft, and I have their discount code as well down below for you. And I'm just trimming off that excess transfer paper, and I'm just wrapping it around one more time just to make sure. And this is um, the new item that will be in my shop, which I've been telling you about. I'm going to start carrying my own tumbler templates, and this is one of them. And I also have the file on there now too for different um, size pinstripes as well. So this Argyle template is now on my website for you guys. So I'm just using this long, I like to use these longer um, squeegees when I'm used to doing a full wrap and I take my time going around because I want to make sure that it gets on super straight so those two sides meet and then I'll go ahead and pull my transfer paper off and I like to just you know, trim off the top and bottoms of my vinyl off that. That's optional, that's just how I like to do it. And then I will um, pull those little sections off. This way I have a little glitter on the top and a little, little glitter on the bottom. So this Arca, I like to pull off every other section and then I'll do that all the way down the cup. This way you have a section of glitter, a section of vinyl, and alternating all throughout the cup. So next time I think the only thing I would do differently is I would go ahead and pull these sections off before I put my transfer tape on. I think it would be a lot easier that way. Um, but lesson learned, but still it came out really pretty. So all, all is good there. You see me a couple of the little pieces of vinyl stuck there. So I'm just getting those little pieces up. And then this is what it looks like. Now I like to do all my vinyl when I can um, all at one time. So now I'm just going to go ahead and going to go straight in and put my vinyl strips down. So I cut these at 0.15 times 11 and a half inches. Um, and I'm going to go all in one direction and then um, I'll turn my tumbler and then I'm going to go put one all in the opposite directions. And this helps hide any imperfections you may have if you're vinyl you cut you know you put it on a little uneven you're not even going to notice guys because this is going to cover it right up anyway if that happens to you and then i'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess off the top and bottom um areas of the cup and then what i like to do for this design is i also once i get all those trimmed up i like to put um another strip of vinyl along the bottom and then also along the top again that is optional guys that's just how i like to do it 
Um, so that's what you see me doing here. I'm just putting a strip on the bottom and then a strip on the top. Now you could be done with it at this point if you want to, but me personally, I like to go in with another strip of vinyl, a smaller strip, and I usually will do like a holographic um, vinyl for that. So I had this really pretty rose gold. I don't really remember where I got this because I've had it a long time and I cut my strips up in advance. So I'm not really sure where I got this um, color vinyl from. And then it's gonna be the same exact thing, guys. I'm gonna go all in one direction with this one right on top of that white vinyl. And then I'll flip my cup and go um, in the other directions. I'll trim those sections off and then go along the top and bottom strips with that as well. Um, me personally, I just like doing it this way. You could even go one step further and cut an even uh, thinner section of vinyl and go through the middles of those rest of those other sections if you wanted to, to give it a different kind of look. Um, I just like it this way though. So, um, and why I picked the rose gold is since I did the glitter in blue, I kind of want to pull those rose gold flowered sections out. So that's why I went with the rose gold uh, vinyl strips just to help pull those pink colors out. So once I get around and finish doing these, I always like to seal my vinyl because sometimes if you don't, when you go to put your epoxy layers on it, they may lift. So you can use whatever sealer you like to use. I personally like to use the binding potion from Adhesive Apothecary, um, but you use what you like to use. And then I, will, I always like to put the powdered vinyl on the bottom of my cups as well. So here you see me, I'm just using that binding potion to go over all that vinyl, making sure I get everything good and covered. I'm gonna let that completely dry before I put my final coats of epoxy. And then this one was done. So don't forget if you're interested in this Tumblr template, it is available on my website. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day.